Let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. So, another football video, you know, doing it, another analyst on a quarterback. And everybody was in my comment section on my, my, my Lamar video, on my Josh Allen video. RJ, you're so negative, RJ. You don't know nothing, RJ, RJ. You know, complaining. I was being negative. You know, I was just telling the truth or at least my opinion. But you know what? Here's a positive video, a quote-unquote positive video. Deshaun Watson is a top-10 quarterback. In 2023. Yes, I said it. Deshaun Watson is a top 10 quarterback in 2023. And I'm predicting it right now. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying Deshaun is a uh, top 10 quarterback of 2022 because let's be real, Deshaun didn't play majority of 2022. And he didn't, I wouldn't, I mean, I think people over exaggerate how bad he played. I do think he didn't play at his, I don't think he played great or good but i don't think he played as bad as people are portraying how he did play last year but this upcoming season the sean watson you have uh kevin safansky i think the head coach's name is for the cleveland browns any browns fans that come on my channel please correct me if i'm saying it right i know it's kevin stefanski who made baker mayfield and uh deshaun not deshaun kaiser uh what's his name uh, Brissett. Jacoby Brissett, or he, the quarterback before who, the quarterback before uh, Deshaun Watson came in against the Houston Texans in 2022, he made him look decent. He made Baker Mayfield go to a playoff game and win a playoff game. What is he going to do with Deshaun? What is he going to do with Deshaun? People keep sit, sitting here saying Deshaun Watson's washed, he's old, and I'm looking at it right now. Deshaun's only 27 years old. He's only 27 years old, turning 28. He is entering the prime of his life. He's entering his prime. And as a quarterback, he's entering his prime as a quarterback. I mean, let's be real. These quarterbacks can play until they're 50 now with the rules where you can't touch them. You have to lay them down on the pillow to touch them. But at the same time, listen, for any feminist or anybody, any simps or anybody who's going to come on my channel and get mad at me for – uh hyping up Deshaun Watson. This is a football video, a football video. Don't care about what he did off the field. Not my business, and I honestly just don't care. So this is a football video, and I know the majority of you simps and women don't watch football because it's too masculine, toxically masculine. So please click off my video and don't say anything to my comment sessions. But anyways, as it goes for the Cleveland Browns and Deshaun Watson, look, Deshaun Watson has Amari Cooper. He has Nick Chubb. He has Kareem Hunt. Uh, I'm forgetting some of the other receivers that they have on that team, but I know they're pretty good. Is Rashad? H I think Rashad Higgins and Peoples Jones Drew, or people? No, not Peoples Jones Drew. Um, I'm forgetting the wide receiver's name. I, I haven't really paid attention to Cleveland ever since they got rid of Baker Mayfield. But they have a good they have a good receiving core with Amari at the one, who's done good with Dak Prescott. You have uh Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. I mean. Deshaun Watson is going to succeed. You have Kevin Stefanski, who's an offensive, uh, who's an offensive guy as head coach. I don't see how Deshaun Watson doesn't succeed. I thought last year, I think he played with what six, seven games to get the rust out, get all the controversy. Oh, look at Deshaun! Oh, look, look, he's bad. Oh, he's weirdo. Oh, okay, cool. Is what it is. This year, training camp. OTAs, which he's also been showing up to. He's been showing up to OTAs, unlike uh, some quarterbacks uh, that we know. <clears throat> Anyways, he's been at training camp. I know he this one video that was going viral where he missed the wide, uh, missed the, missed the wide receiver wide, uh, wide open. But you know what? I believe in the Sean Watson. I believe the controversy is over. It's done. He's in training camp. I think Stefanski and the offensive coordinator, whoever, the, whoever is, is working with him. I think he's building up. Great rapports with Amari Cooper and with the rest of those receivers. And, and, and I'm not saying this is going to happen. Look out for D Hop. Look out for D Hop. Now, D Hop and Deval Dalvin Cook both came out and said they want to play together. And I don't know how Dalvin Cook can fit in a, uh, fit in a uh, roster with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. I don't know how, I don't know where Dalvin Cook's going to fit in with that. Unless Dalvin Cook's going to play fullback or play tight end. I don't know. I mean, Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, Dalvin, you're going to come off the – no, nah, that's not going to work. But 
Hopkins might go to uh, Cleveland. If that happens, watch out. Hopkins and Deshaun were great in Houston. And Deshaun was actually Deshaun was actually one of the few people in uh, Texas with the Texans defending Deshaun, uh, defending DeAndre Hopkins. So at the end of the day, listen, look, I know Deshaun didn't play well in 2023. I know Deshaun uh, didn't look the best. But give him this offseason to recoup. I think he's winning comeback player of the year. And for every all the Ravens and Bengals fans, watch out. Watch out for Cleveland. Now, am I saying Cleveland's going to go to the Super Bowl or anything like that? No. But I'm just saying, watch out. Watch out. I mean, it's all and it, you can uh it's always the divisional games that are always the hardest. This isn't the same Cleveland Browns team from back in 2016 when they went 0 16. This is not even the same Cleveland Browns team with Baker Mayfield. And I love Baker Mayfield. Boomer sooner, but at the same time, Deshaun Watson is better than Baker Mayfield. Even right now, I'd rather have the potential to Sean than Baker Mayfield, who's younger than Deshaun, by the way. They got Amari Cooper. I do think they should have kept Jarvis Landry, but you know, it is what it is. They got they got a two-headed monster with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. Decent offensive line. Other complimentary wide receivers to go with it. And Miles Garrett, uh, Denzel Ward. Who else do they got on that defense? Is Clowney still there? I have no idea if Jadavion Clowney is still there, but Cleveland's on the rise. And I do predict Deshaun Watson will come back. People forget the last time before this year, Deshaun Watson in 2020 was putting up good numbers with horrible receivers. I think his best receivers was an injury-prone Brandon Cooks. Give Deshaun Watson his credit. Now, granted, Deshaun, you were losing. You were a loser. Ever since they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins, you were a loser. But at the same time, you were still putting up numbers. I have to give you that credit. You have to, you still have got to put up numbers, and you still were putting up numbers. But at the same time, listen, look, Cleveland's a way better organization than the Texans, which I know is not really saying much. Better team than the Texans, which I know is not saying much. Way better head coaches than anything the Texans had in the last ever. I don't remember the Texans ever having a good head coach. And I think Deshaun Watson is going to flourish. I think Deshaun Watson is going to flourish. I think Cleveland could sneak into a wild card. I think Cleveland's going to go to the wild card. I know the Ravens and Bengals are going to be in there. You got to put the Bills in there. You got to put the Chiefs in there and then the uh, Jaguars. But let's, and then other than that, it's between the Broncos, Browns, and the Chargers. And the Chargers, I don't know. Chargers are known for choking. Broncos, I think it's between the Broncos and the Browns. And what I just said, I said the Bills, the Chiefs, uh, the Ravens, Bengals are guaranteed going to the playoffs. I mean, who else is guaranteed? You really trust Aaron Rodgers with the Jets? You really trust uh, Tua staying healthy and going to the playoffs? I think Broncos, I think the Broncos have the sixth seed and the uh, Browns have the seventh. And do you really trust the Chargers? The Chargers. Same team who choked a 27-0 lead with Justin Herbert, who's vastly overrated and overhyped. Video coming out on him soon. Don't worry, everybody. But listen, man, watch out for Deshaun Watson. I th- I'm predicting it right now. He has a comeback season, maybe 36 to, I'll say 33 to 37 touchdowns, 10 to 11 picks, throws for o- over 4,000 yards, wins comeback player up. Uh, can he win comeback player of the year? I don't think he's I, I don't think he can win comeback player of the year since he played last year, but he will definitely have the biggest comeback story in the NFL. I promise you that. Either him or Russ. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? What's your thoughts on the Sean Watson? Football wise. Football wise. Not anything off the off the field. Football wise. And what's your thoughts on the Cleveland Browns? I get it. It's the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are gonna brown, but you never know. You never know. I mean, we said the same thing about the Bengals before we got before they got Joe Burrow. But that's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ 